Hi, this is Kim White with the My Sexy Business Team. We are here at the Collaboration Summit, November 2018, session number 10. I cannot believe it's been 10 sessions and <laughs> this is the third day. Let me just tell you about this <clears throat> next guest. Not only is she an amazing woman, she is such a teachable student. I love the fact that she really listens and applies things, but she is such a ball of skills, I will say, that she didn't even realize how much value she brought to everyone's lives because she didn't understand that the rest of us don't have those superpowers. And so she has absolutely blessed my life and our circle and this class. You know, the Collaboration Summit is for Collaboration 101 class graduates. And I'm so proud of this, this next guest because this is her round two. She actually came back and did collaboration class a second time and is, is graduating again with an entire new thing. So welcome Cheryl Stevens to Collaboration Summit. Thank you. I'm glad to be here and it is exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited to like see all the things that you're doing and and know the insider. I love having a front row seat. That's what I love. You know, being able to watch everybody grow and do such amazing things. The last summit, you had announced the fact that you had actually created a podcast. You were um, so excited about it, still excited about it. But you have a new thing this time. I'd like to know before we get into that, I'd like to know, though, what you liked or didn't like or learned or feedback, how you benefited from Collaboration 101 class for the second round. Oh, my goodness. Um, there is so, so much that, um, like you said, I, I'm learning about myself going through this process and what I can do and that my only limitations was myself <laughs> and I'm learning to break through that with, with doing this. I've um, made so many connections with new people um, that many of them I now call my friends. Mm -hmm. um, I've learned how to use Canva, which is awesome. <laughs> um, and it's brought opportunities to me that I would have never even dreamt of doing before. Um, and it's gone through, actually, I have a collaboration with someone that was going to be in the class now. And uh, that would have never happened. So it's, um, to me, it's been invaluable. Just, just basically y'all teaching me, you teaching me that um, I have more than I thought I did. And I will add way more. <laughs> You, you wowed me from the very beginning because you took the very first five day challenge we did with collaboration. When you posted your plan, I was smitten with you because I knew you had some <laughs> mad skills on the planning, you know, in the planning department. You were incredible. So I love the fact that we can actually make the announcement on the collaboration summit what came out of this yeah. class. Do you want to do the honors? <laughs> sure. I have launched a, and it's already launched, a GVA general virtual assistant business and have two clients and I'm loving the work. It puts me into um, a place that I can create, but create in a different way than my art and stuff like that. Um, I love organizing and um, making plans for people to get them through their day. And that excites me. And now I get to do that uh, in a different way. Well, I'm totally excited because I'll just make the announcement on this side of it that <laughs> we snatched you up for sure. When you, when you were willing to do that, we definitely signed you on because we were so impressed and so proud that one that you would listen that's the biggest thing that you have trouble with when um 
or in my opinion, because I've had lots of assistants and, you know, they don't like to really listen. They'll listen for a minute, but then they don't really, they don't really listen. And I think you are different in that way. I think not only do you listen, but if you don't understand something, you immediately go and research it. You figure it out. And that's a, that's a, a quality that is just amazing to me to watch you. If you don't know how to do something, you'll still come back and you can teach me how to do something that I don't know how to do. It. So I love it. I appreciate you. and want to say that publicly that I, I very much appreciate all you do for us, but it is so exciting to me that that, that did come out of collaboration came out of, doing some other things, your gifts and talents started shining. And every time you do something else, they shine even more. So that is exciting to me. Well, thank you. And uh, going back to you, you saying you had trouble with um, assistance actually listening. If that's, and that's foreign to me because if I don't listen and understand where you want to go it's not only going to reflect bad on me but bad on you and um i that's just not something i want to ever face so if i don't know i am going to ask i'm going to research i'm going to if you want me to do something i don't have to know how to do it i'm going to research first and then come back and say is this what you wanted um yeah and if not i go back and do a little more more research so um, I'm, I'm excited about that. I love to learn and I have learned so much in these last few months, these classes that I've taken that, um, this makes my heart happy. <laughs> well, you make my heart happy. Every time I get a message <laughs> from you, I know that you're keeping me on task, <clears throat> keeping me on track <laughs> and I need that desperately. So I think it's amazing. You are, you are influencing everyone from, on the summit by what you do behind the scenes, because the things at the summit wouldn't have happened, you know, in this grand a scale, had it not been for you helping me get it done. So I am very grateful. And, you know, here's the thing, the podcast is still going. It, it, I think that's the sexy part of collaboration and learning and clarity is you can have it all. Like we want to, we want it all. We are just, right. you know, we're not satisfied with just bits of things. We want the whole package. And that's one thing, um, as I was listening to everyone's summit yesterday, um, several things stood out. And before you say what I'm going to say, just hold on. <laughs> um, I was listening to these and all of these launches and it's like, okay, what did I miss? I don't have anything to launch what did I miss here but then um I sat down and started writing everything down I had done and it's like oh my gosh I've learned all of these programs I have I've learned Canva I love that I love that for everything <laughs> um I will be learning some more programs which I love and I've met people all over the world I mean and uh through these programs and I've been asked to have a very small part starting out in December and that's through this class and, and then my GVA business it's like oh my god challenge but look what I've done changing my podcast as well because it was back to living there's life after loss which is true but there's mm -hmm. so many different types of losses and it's just I'm changing it to back to living because there can be loss, which I have gone through a loss of a job, a loss of a spouse, loss of pets that I've had for years and years. And, you know, loss of so many different things. And it's how you get through those. That's mm -hmm. going to make you who you are in the future. Right. Um, in the last two years, well, in the last six months, I have done things that I never ever would have dreamed <laughs> happening this is one of them going live uh on interviews and talking but um i always felt especially in the last 10 years or so that because i spent 
30, 40 years in insurance. And it's like, okay, there's got to be more. I just got that deep down feeling that there's, there's got to be more that I should be doing because I'm just not 100% satisf- satisfied. Not with my family. I love my family to death. And I miss my husband like crazy. There is that yearning of wanting to do something else. And that's being realized now. And it's through this class that I'm realizing that. So, yes. <laughs> it blesses me because I I will tell you, um, I think that you're an amazing person. And I think you have so much to offer this world. But the things that you get in the trenches with everyone in this class, it wasn't just with me. It was with everyone. You got in the class and you engaged and you were, you know, doing so many things in the class that I don't know how to put that in words when we talk about launching the Collaboration 101 class for the round three of it. I don't know how to put that in words because the community part of it for me as the, you know, as the teacher even, for me, it blesses me to see all of you working together on things and doing things together and then it not stopping there. Like you didn't just stop there and do the work and definitely you showed up and definitely you did all the work, but it wasn't just to get that graduation. It wasn't just to get the kudos. You have been doing other things with other people. And I feel like a proud mama bear because, you know, I see, I see all of you growing in ways that I think were unexpected because I don't think you realize most people don't know what collaboration is anyway, but then you get clarity out of it. You created a business out of it. You created a podcast out of it. And then you just go through the list of all the things you've learned that, that to me, it just blesses me. I'm just going to tell you, I'm very blessed (laughs) this morning by you. (laughs) I'm blessed by what I have uh, learned and the people that I've met through this. And that's, one thing that really stands out about this group, because uh, with my businesses, I, you know, I have, I'm a, di- a distributor for a cosmetic company and I have an Etsy shop, all of that. But in some of these groups I belong to, these so-called sisters, there is so much catty stuff going back and forth. And it's like, okay, you're grown. Why are you doing this? You're acting like, um, you're acting like children. There is none of that in this group. It's, hey, I need some help. I don't know what to do here. And everybody pitches in. And I love that. Um, uh, in some groups, when we're doing our one sheets, that's one thing I learned. I didn't even know they were out there. Um, <laughs> but it's they would give you feedback, but it was coming from their heart and mm-hmm. not trying to be mean. And mm-hmm. I love that. Um, yeah. Trying to be help better someone else while you're learning yourself. Yeah. I love that. And I love it because everyone in the class gives everyone else their, their feedback on things. Mm -hmm. Like you said, in a, in a sweet and loving way, because they're learning right alongside you. And it is an amazing thing when you have that many eyes on something you're doing that, you know, you just don't think of everything. You can't. Right. And what an amazing outcome is that all of you did have one sheets and speaker sheets. If you're graduating from Collaboration 101 class, you now have the ability to go to a major influencer and present your one sheet and your plan and impress them because, you know, who does that kind of thing? You know, who, who shows up prepared? Not very many people. Right. And that's, um, that's what is so, um, I don't know how to say it, rewarding to me is everything, everyone coming together and everything we've learned in such a short time period, really. <laughs> like now I get to go out there and tell every, all the viewers that um, if you need an assistant, uh, I'm here. I've done this. I uh, can make graphics. I can 
you know, help you with your calendar. I love uh, creating spreadsheets or plans. You know, this, I want to have a so-and-so event. What do I need to do? Here's your plan, you know? Mm-hmm. Doesn't mean I have to carry it out. You can carry it out, but I can tell you step by step what you need to do, what you need to look for. Um, and that's that's fun to me. And um, it's strange because I tell people the crafting and the sewing and things like this. That is my relaxation, which um, it, it, most people don't understand that, <laughs> but it is. I love it though. And you're, you're able to do what you love and have a job you love. I mean, in a business, yeah. it's not just a job, it's a business. It's business. Yeah. And I will say that for anyone listening that doesn't know the difference, I want to address it really quick. The difference between a general virtual assistant and a virtual assistant is a general virtual assistant manages all the virtual assistants under them. So Cheryl is not just you know, a VA and that's all she does. She also is going to manage your other VAs that do things, you know, your transcribers, your, your, you know, if you do have graphic design needs that are beyond what, you know, Cheryl does, you can, you can count on her to also supervise those people. So I think it's a very different, um, different way of doing things. And I will just tell you my princess opinion is I think you need a GVA first. Like instead of hiring a VA and having someone then to figure out who can do the general everything, you know, management wise, if you start with the GVA and then you add a VA and then you add another VA and then you add another VA, you'll have a whole team of people but your GVA is invaluable in that position, in that position of they're dealing with things on your behalf instead of you having to do all of that. And, and it's very important to know the difference. It's very important to know the value that Cheryl's bringing to the table because I'm telling you, I have already, I've already told her that um, I was a little nervous about, you know, putting her on the summit because I don't want anyone to snap her away. Like I, (laughs) I think that the value that she brings is, is literally priceless because she gives me the ability to go and see my mom or, you know, go and do the things that I need to do. And so I am very, I'm very proud that she is our GVA and that if you need someone, if you need someone to, you know, to do some of those things, definitely reach out to her, definitely talk to her and see what she can do for you. Because another point I want to make is you don't have to hire someone 40 hours a week to do things. She works for multiple people. And so she is, she has the ability to manage several, basically several companies at the same time. And I'm just telling you, she's she's worth her salt. She's worth, you know, taking the time to have a conversation with her because she can help in so many ways. So, and I'm so proud that you are you are creating an entire business. You are, you know, you are creating, a, I guess, massive movement in, in your life with stuff yeah. that matters. Yes. You know, make me cry here, Kim. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sweet words. Sweet words. But yeah, and I think I was talking earlier about the um, my background in insurance. A lot of that, and it's amazing how God works because I look back on that and the structure and the timing of everything, how in workers' comp, everything is so tight on schedules that it's the difference between you denying a claim and accepting a claim that I mean everything is so tied to a time limit and it's your employ um, your clients money you're spending and you have to document and tell them why you're spending every penny and that's the re- um, the reserves and the money part of it but then there is the action plans 
Um, and I taught my people that you have to write out step by step. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. And if this doesn't work, this is what I'm going to do. And if it does, this is the next step. And you have to write that out because if I'm in a car wreck going home and in a hospital in a coma, somebody has to pick up that file and run with it the way it's supposed to be run. So I think all of that training, all of those years has moved me into where I am now and able to help keep people on track with their tasks and help them if you know, the VAs under me, okay, this is what we need to work on. And this is your task. And this is your time limit. And then following up with them um, periodically on how are you doing? Do you need some help with something? Do you not understand something? Just that, that follow up that a lot of time is missed. So I think all of that kind of prepared me for this. Well, I know it did. Well, and you're great at it. Your follow-up is amazing. Thank you know, you. I I am convinced and I've taught for a very long time that follow-up, like that's where your wealth is. The wealth of relationships, the wealth of, you know, your business is in how good you follow up. Because if you don't follow up, you are not, you are not keeping those connections and you're not doing the things to keep a business you know, going that's sustainable. Now you might be able to do it for a minute, but sustainable is what we're after. Right. And your follow-up is part of what makes people wealthy who will work with you. Like that's going to be part of the, the incentive to hire you is that we, those of us who lack the follow-up naturally and intrinsically, can rely on your follow-up because you will make sure of it. And I think that that's, I just think that's one of many, many, many things that you offer that people need to realize. And I do want to like, can I, can I tell on us about our, our conversation and, and the look on your face when I first said it to you about what sure. I wanted you to do? I think it's so <laughs> funny because, you know, Cheryl's working for us, and one of the things I asked her to do was to um, make her re replaceable. I wanted her to be replaceable, and it wasn't because I want to replace her. It's because I believe she'll be, you know, promoted on task up and up and up and up, and so I was laughing, and I told her, I said, that's what everyone's goal should be, and, you know, when you come out of corporate, you're so afraid you're going to get fired for something or you're so afraid. And she's been living this just by her example of, you know, what happens if she's, you know, not able to, to be there for that plan. Someone else can pick it up and do it. That's exactly how we should do things. And we come at it from a different angle than other people because you know other people are like well i can't tell you my trade secret and you know i can't i can't tell you this and i can't i can't you know this um i want to be the best i want to be the one but when you make yourself replaceable by doing such a good job you can't help but go up you can't help but you know raise the bar again because you're doing such a good job and so i love that she already understood that, but she's already applying that and how powerful that is for her as a, as a business owner, because, you know, our tagline is serious. We really are here to help you create a sexy business for a sexy life. Her sexy business is going to be sustainable. It's going to be, you know, duplicatable She's got all kinds of things in the works that just, you know, if you set it up the right way. And I think that that's what she's doing. So I just think that that's a cute conversation because when I first say that to people, they look at you like, you have to be crazy. What do you mean? I should be, I should be creating something no one can replace me for, but it's not, it's the opposite. True. Yep. What do you mean? Am I not doing a good job here? <laughs> but one of the things that um, one of the things I that stands out so 
much in my past life, in the insurance life, <clears throat> is I had four people starting the same day. Mm -hmm. I was the supervisor, but I also had to train them on our computer system. And I knew they were coming in all day. And it took quite a while to train because it was a program, a claim system that our company wrote. So it wasn't something they would have known from another company. And that terrified me. How am I going to get these people? They're just going to be sitting here. And I created a step-by-step -step workbook. This is what this button does. And when you do that, this is what this happens. It was color coded. It was, you know, everything. One of the programs I learned to use was Snagit. And I love that program. Um, mm. But um, I, that's one of the things that I learned in doing this GVA is as I'm doing something, they're still all in the middle of being worked, but I'm writing down the steps. So when I do pass something off to someone, they will have a manual of this is how this person likes it. It may be different from the next person, but this is how this person likes it. And this is what we have to do. So um, I'm also getting to do that part of it that I really enjoy. So, and, and I love it because, you know, when you have an operations manual where someone else can step in, if you need to be away, it creates space for you to be away because I want you to be able to have vacations, you know, and I want you to be able to do the things you want to do, but we also have to <laughs> conduct business. And so I think that's a really sexy point you're making that when you set it up, to have someone be able to step in and not have to be completely taught from square one. All they really have to do is follow the procedures. You know, the systems are in place and it's just a really sexy thing that you're doing for every person that you work with. Like, I think that's the key too, that, that um, a lot of people wouldn't want to share a VA or wouldn't want to share, but they, they're still missing the point. You know, if, if you have someone like you, it takes you such few hours to do the things that it took us long hours to do, because that's your zone of genius. That's your zone, you know, that you excel at. And quite frankly, you excel at many things that I just don't. And I struggle through them, but you can do them. And, and I'll give you a great example. And I think it's funny because people are going to say, you know, what is wrong with you? Why can't you do this? But calendars is one of them. I, I don't do well with keeping up the calendars. And that can create a lot of havoc in your life, a lot of chaos. <laughs> yeah. and, and so you didn't just come in and do, and I guess this is what I want to make the point of to anyone listening that is it's time to delegate, is that, you didn't just come in and start babysitting me in the calendar, you know, area. You are creating calendars for me so that it makes it simple for me to look every day, makes it simple for me to stay on task and know what it is I'm supposed to do and show up when I'm supposed to. So I think it's the systems and the processes that you're creating go so far beyond just a general you know, a general thing, it is really, you are really my assistant. Even if you're not sitting in my physical office, you are my go-to girl. Like, and I think that that's important to like acknowledge. Well, thank you. And it's amazing what technology can do now um, because I can be someone's assistant and they be in another country basically. Um, yeah. But, you know, some of the same things have to happen on the same programs and the same, you know, what's working for someone and I'm trying to do for someone else. Maybe this is the way they really want to do it. But mm -hmm. if I can show this is a better way, then I think I've, I've helped them yes. and um, show that they can be more efficient with what they're doing. So, well, a great example is, you know, you set up all of the the scheduling links for this summit. I didn't do any of it. And you made me look good. I'll just say that you made me look so professional, but it was really all you, you know, you, 
you set it up so that I didn't have to worry about it. And that just, it's little things that don't seem like they're that important that are actually major important. Because how many hours did you save me in my zone of incompetence by having that set up for me? And everybody, no one even had to contact me to set their time. They all went straight to that link in that calendar and voila, here we all are. <laughs> well, it goes back to um, loving what I do, sharing, sharing and serving other people, but making them look good at the same time. Uh, that is promoting your business and promoting mine. And um yeah, like you said, that's a sexy life. So. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, thank you for everything like that you're doing for us in our business. But thank you for doing the class and showing up and doing the work and just being a, an amazing, you know, contributor. I think that's really you're a great collaborator, but you're an excellent contributor as well. You contributed greatly to the community. So thank you for all of that. Well, thank you. And thank you for the class. It's, uh, anybody listening that hasn't done this, that is in business, especially for themselves. Um, this class has been invaluable. It has uh, opened my eyes so, to so many different things and so many different people um, that thank you for doing this. <laughs> Thank you. And if you're listening and you want to get in contact with Cheryl, Cheryl, will you put your, your, you know, Facebook link in there so they can contact you and, and see sure. what you can do to help them as well. But uh, don't forget, I don't, I'm not giving you up. Okay. <laughs> and you, your business is, um, you know, making a sexy life. Mine and people ask, and I'll say it here is champagne beauty by Cheryl, because I feel like I am living my champagne life. Uh, why not? So um, I love you can it. find me anything Champagne Beauty by Cheryl. Or you can find me anywhere on that. So um, just love a different it. twist on words. So <laughs> Oh, I love it, though. And you are you are celebrating life. Even after all that you've been through, you are celebrating life in such a big way and doing such amazing things. So thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, Kim. If you're listening, we will be back at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time for the Collaboration Summit. This is Kim White with the My Sexy Business Team.